welcome. Leading human behavior researchers tell us that uh, as much as 77% of uh, our thoughts are uh, negative, counterproductive and work against us. In this mass of negativity, the six thoughts which will be analyzed in this uh, video are particularly dangerous, preventing ourselves from succeeding. If uh, you notice that uh, any sum of uh, all of these negative affirmations uh, have seized space in your mind, it's time to train yourself to throw them out. Toxic beliefs are serious obstacles when it comes to achieving success. The purpose of this video is to point out their existence and to alert you to separate yourself from their negative energy. The first uh, negative thought is this. It is not the right time. Procrastination is a dangerous disease which erases all our dreams if we do not take action. Achieving something extraordinary uh, scares our minds since it requires leaving the comfort zone and facing the unknown. The truth is, however, in every single remarkable achievement, it's involved uh, discomfort. Fortunately, the results are uh, uh, worth uh, the effort. But to start getting closer to your goal, you must stop the belief that today is not the right day to start. If you begin working on something, you see that it's not a uh, reasonable excuse to postpone. Doing that, it only hurts you because you base yourself on a fictional belief uh, that your mind serves you. From now on, accept the fact that it's always much better to start and fail and come back strong and wiser than wait for the right moment to arrive. That moment will never arrive. The second negative thought is this, I am not good enough. If you base your opinion completely on your mind and you didn't train it yet to work for you, you are most probably stuck. Lack of uh, self-belief can be extremely damaging, but in reality there is no fair reason why you should not believe in yourself. You are the first person that needs to truly believe in your abilities. If you make the switch, the rest uh, will adapt uh, your assumption. It never works the other way around. What I'm getting at is that uh, being good enough or inadequate is only a state of mind and not an absolute fact. That's the reason why you should always believe in your competences even when you're facing the worst moment in life. Self-belief leads to more confidence in your strength. Confidence which is required to survive the difficult moment when life throws tests and challenges at us. Henry Ford has said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are always right. The third negative thought is this, I am not an expert. There is a weird assumption in some people's brains that you need to be very good at something to be allowed to do it. Although they believe experts are born, in real life you need to start from scratch, go through moments of uncertainty so that one day you become savvy and experienced. If you are completely inept at something, this is the perfect point to begin at. Sometimes we fool ourselves in believing in overnight success that the television try to inspire us with. But in fact, behind every true expert there is the story of a beginner who went through uh, countless failures, tons of hard work and uh, constant practice. The fourth negative thought is this. I will surely fail. No one can foretell the future, yet so many people spare no effort to envision the worst scenario. It's very likely that you're going to fail when you try something completely new, but it doesn't mean that you are not going to succeed as well. In fact, every successful person admits that failure is an inseparable part of their success. 
One cannot exist without the other. What you need to believe is that uh, failure is only momentary, even if it uh, looks like forever. Achieving your goal is closer than you think, so go on and try once more. Do you know what is uh, better than failure? It's asking yourself a regretful uh, question, namely, what if? What if I had tried once more? Maybe I would have succeeded. Change this question in, uh, what if I try once more? Maybe I will succeed. You don't know until you try it. The fifth uh, negative thought is this, I will start once I have more. What more? More time? More money? More willpower? In fact, none of these things happens by accident. It is always a matter of preparation, of work and perseverance. You need to abandon the toxic belief that an environment of success will originate by itself. To have more time, you must abandon the unnecessary commitment and learn to say no. To have money, you must take care of your financial stability and maybe create your own business. And the same applies to willpower. The willpower is earned, not given. Once you realize that you are the master of your own universe, you are in the right path to success. The sixth negative thought is this. I am not lucky. Whereas successful people assume full responsibility of their achievements, the crowd tends to believe that luck made them outstanding. The truth is that luck plays a role, but it's a drop in the ocean of hard work, right attitude and perseverance. My advice to you would be to exclude luck from your visions. Assume that luck doesn't matter at all and it's your action that can influence everything. Actually, this is true, and you realize it the moment when you see the results of your efforts.